All right, thanks for stopping by today. We're gonna work on a shot uh, everybody has and nobody wants. Let's go. All right, today we're working on the shot uh, we, always, we always have but we never want, that 40 to 60 yard awkward numbered shot. So we're going, I'm gonna give you my tips and strategy for being able to pull these off with great consistency and most importantly, confidence. That's the key for, for these shots. Uh, and if you're looking for golf instruction, non-technical ways and tips and drills to improve your game, and uh, honest product reviews, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now let's jump into uh, today's shot. Okay, so here we go, 60 yards, uh, awkward number. And what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna use my 60 degree Vokey SM7 wedge. I have uh, 10 degrees of bounce on this, D grind, just so you know what I'm using. And I'm gonna use this, not because I typically use this club at this shot, but because a lot of, most people will use their most lofted club here. So all of these, uh, tips will apply to any club you choose to use, but a lot of times uh, you got to fly a bunker or something like that Or maybe there's a little pond that you got to go over so Most of us gonna be uh, using the highest loft. So I'm gonna be using this tip number one. Here we go So tip number one what I'm thinking is this No wrist cock. I don't want that the club has loft on it So it's gonna get the ball in the air. I don't need to manipulate that in any way too much wrist cock is gonna get you in a lot of trouble. So I like to think that Steve Stricker, Jason Day move right in here. Nothing, no wrist cock at all. None of this. Don't hinge those guys, okay? Real quiet. Just let your arms swing back and forth. If I keep those hands from hinging, I, it's so much easier to control the distance and I can really swing faster at it as opposed to, you know, then you take that long swing, you got that wrist cock and you're manipulating a lot of, you don't want that. It's gonna save, just try not to hinge the wrists. Easy one, that's an easy one. Here we go. All right, next up, here's what I like to do. I do not like to get steep on my backswing. Here's steep. This is steep, taking it straight up. I don't like that. Because then I just, you could chunk down too much on the ball. So don't take a steep swing. I like to really just rotate a little bit and swing the arms a little inside, in here. A little bit more in here, less here, more in here, right there. So just think a flatter swing. I don't want to chop down on that ball. That's a myth. You know, you think that if you hit down on it, you're going to get a lot more spin, but you're really going to just going to have a lot more problems, a lot more chunk shots. So think more inside shallow swing. Let's move on. Next step. Get the widest stance. No, I see that way too many times. So many people get so wide in their stance. To, I'm like, what are you doing? It's not a driver, right? You want really narrow stance. You want to be in here, okay? Really narrow. Narrow stance, and I like to stand a little taller. I don't like to bend down and get too much knee bend. I just like to be a little taller, right in here, okay? And the other two things I'm, I'm thinking about, but set up just right in here, really narrow stance. Tall, narrow, right here. Weight is slightly forward you could be 50 50 is fine but the narrowness of the stance is going to be key and ball is still middle slightly back if you wish but right here you could even go forward i don't hate that but when you're narrow you have a lot of just it's a lot more comfortable to hit this shot that one's like four feet that was a good one really narrow 
that's gonna be a great key. Got one more tip for you, it's gonna help out a lot. All right, this one, you're not gonna think you're gonna need to do this, but it, it's going to give you another le level of confidence that you're gonna be excited about. I want you to open that club face, like just a touch, like a degree or two, right there. That's it. All I'm doing is engaging the bounce of the club just a touch so that I can hit the bounce before the ball. Bounce the, the, of the club before the ball. Fat, that's not a fat shot right there. Fat would be the, the leading edge before the ball. The bounce before the ball is just gonna give you uh, a, a level of confidence that, hey, I've got room for a error here. I'm leaving myself a little room for mistakes. So just, a, just that little bit is the final piece of the puzzle. And then just let it happen. Touch open, just a, just a nibble, nibble. That's the official term. That's great, then you can hit it slightly behind the ball and you're, you're fine, it's golden. There you go, those are my keys for pulling off the, the 40 to 60 yard shot so that you have a lot of success and most importantly, you have a high level of confidence because that really is going to be the difference between uh, success and failure. If you don't believe in yourself, forget it. Cash in your chips, you're done. I believe in you and I know with these tips, uh, it'll help your game a lot. Let me know, uh, comment below. Let me know how it's working for you. Appreciate the support of the channel. Make sure you get your uh, Mr. Short Game alignment stick uh, cover before they run out. Links and everything are in the description below. That's it for today. Love you guys. Peace.